On this Tuesday in Holy Week, our service of morning prayer begins on page 79. Is it nothing to you, all who pass by? Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow which was brought upon me, whom the Lord has afflicted. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful, merciful God, God, we, we confess, confess that, that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by and what we have done and by what we have left undone. We, we have, have not loved you with our whole heart, we, we have, have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are, we are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. The Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. <clears throat> Our psalmody this morning is Psalms 6 and 12, pages 589 and 597. Psalms 6 and 12. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are racked. My spirit shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me for your mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you. And who will give you thanks in the grave? I grow weary because of my groaning. Every night I drench my bed and flood my couch with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all evildoers, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be confounded and quake with fear. They shall turn back and suddenly be put to shame. Help me, Lord, for there is no godly one left. The faithful have vanished from among us. Everyone speaks falsely with his neighbor. With a smooth tongue they speak from a double heart. Oh, that the Lord would cut off all smooth tongues and close the lips that utter proud boasts. Those who say, with our tongue will be pale. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Because the needy are oppressed and the poor cry out in misery, I will rise up, says the Lord, and give them the help they long for. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined from ore and purified seven times in the fire. O Lord, watch over us and save us from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side, and that is which is worthless is highly prized by everyone. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will, and will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Among those who went up to worship at the feast were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and Andrew went with Philip and they told Jesus. 
And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life loses it. And he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me and where I am. There shall my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Zechariah, page 92. <clears throat> Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The prayers, beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. O God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today we give thanks for our national life by turning to page 838. Almighty God, giver of all good things, we thank you for the natural majesty and beauty of this land. They restore us, though we often destroy them. Heal us. We thank you for the great resources of this nation. They make us rich, though we often exploit them. Forgive us. We thank you for the men and women who have made this country strong. They are models for us, though we often fall short of them. Inspire us. We thank you for the torch of liberty which has been lit in this land. It has drawn people from every nation, though we have often hidden from its light. Enlighten us. We thank you for the faith we have inherited in all its rich variety. It sustains our life, though we have been faithless again and again. Renew us. Help us, O Lord, to finish the good work here begun. Strengthen our efforts to blot out ignorance and prejudice and to abolish poverty and crime and hasten the day when all our people, with many voices in one united chorus, will glorify your holy name. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. 
So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.